Welcome to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I'm not sure what happened with the door just now. I think I may have left my uh, my pass key, my little swipey thing backstage. Um, everybody have a good weekend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You know who didn't? Donald Trump. A lot of people are talking about Donald Trump in Russia right now, and not just because of how much he resembles a bowl of Russian dressing. <laughs> Rumor is... That Trump is soft on Putin because Trump is hundreds of millions of dollars in debt to Putin's billionaire cronies. Something Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, strongly denied on CBS This Morning last week. So, to be clear, Mr. Trump has no financial relationships with any Russian oligarchs. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the, our position is. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, that's. Um... That's clear. He said it, and I said it. So it's uh, it's uh, it's ridiculous. And uh, there are no bodies buried in the backyard. And there's no need to check. Don't dig around back there. And uh, Mr. Trump has certainly not made a face out of human skin from his victims. And that's our position. And that's uh, and that's it. Okay. Next question. <laughs> then, yesterday, Donald Trump attempted to show how tough he would be with Putin if Putin ever tried to invade Ukraine. He's not going into Ukraine. Okay. Just so you understand, he's not going to go into Ukraine. All right, you can mark it down, you can put it down, you can take it anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you can put it in your pocket, you can take it to the bank, you can wrap it in a burrito, you can stick it under your chair if the flavor's gone, you can display it on a nice mirror tray, some lemon wedges, summer salad, really fresh. What were we talking about again? <laughs> what was that? Just mark it, just mark it down, put it away. Throw it away, put an airplane, throw it out the window. Tattoo it on the back of your neck, anything you want. It was a pretty good answer, except for this. He's not going to go into Ukraine. All right, you can mark it down, you can put it down, you can take it anywhere. Well, he's already you want. there, isn't he? Okay. Well, he's there in a certain way. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Oh my God! Damn it, Donald! You gotta warn a guy before you pop your mouth into reverse like that. Oh! Oh! And Stepanopoulos must have a neck made of steel, because then Trump told him in no uncertain terms that he doesn't know Putin. I have no relationship with Putin. I have no relationship. Okay, no relationship. But just for schnicks, what did Trump of three years ago say about Putin? I do have a relationship, and I can tell you that he's very interested in what we're doing here today. I do have a relationship with him. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, uh... Well, uh, this relationship, uh, did you meet him in Moscow? I didn't meet him in Moscow. Okay, uh, you didn't meet him in Moscow. And uh, how about Trump of two years ago? I was in Moscow recently, and I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer. Okay. Um... That's too long. Doctor says I gotta wear this till the election's over, so I uh, so I don't claw my eyes out. <laughs> Thankfully, George Stephanopoulos just asked Trump flat out if he and Putin have a relationship. You did say on three different occasions you had a relationship with him. Now you say there is none. Well, I don't know what it means by having a relationship. I mean, he was saying very good things about me, but I don't have a relationship with him. I didn't meet him. I haven't spent time with him. Uh, I didn't have dinner with him. I didn't uh, go hiking with him. Yeah. I didn't have dinner with him. I didn't go hiking with him. We certainly didn't sit on a hilltop gazing at a starry sky, and <laughs> Putin didn't point out a shooting star, and I definitely didn't say, my wish already came true. <laughs> Didn't do that. None of that happened. No relationship. Now, just this afternoon, I think CNN's Fareed Zakaria really summed up Trump's flip flopping in a remarkable live analysis. There's a term for this kind of thing. This is the mode of a bullshit artist. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, I want to point out, I want to point out. I want to point out, CBS just bleeped that word. CNN did not bleep that word. They didn't know it was coming, but Fareed could not control himself. 
And I agree, it is BS, and Trump's campaign is like art. It's hard to understand, and when you see it, you think, my seven-year-old could do that. 